Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I am Joe Tige here in the VIX pit in the seaboat where we have another expiration. We settled for July 12, 69, below the 13 area, which is of course a very low level for volatility. Low interest rates, low volatility, it's something that I see going back in time. Now, why we have these low interest rates? Well, last week Powell was on the hill signaling that the Fed is going to cut in spite of the fact that the economy looks very strong. We had a good July economic jobs number. The economy thought, oh, you know what, maybe this will mean the Fed won't cut. Contrary to that, the Fed came out last week, said, you know what, in spite of that, we're still going to cut. And the reason is because of global uncertainty with trade. Uh, earnings since then have been very mixed. And the reading reason is because of what Powell said, global uncertainty of trade. I'm talking specifically about CSX, a railroad company. They're citing uh, fewer transportation, fewer shipping going on, uh, fewer tr trade going on, fewer coal shipments, etc. People are not as optimistic about the economy, specifically due to the trade concerns. Now, today, the market is actually mixed. We got uh, transports lower. We actually have tech higher, NASDAQ is higher. So people are maybe looking forward to other earnings. Maybe the lower interest rates are going to help those tech companies. Out. That's something that we'll, we'll be we'll be watching for closely in the next few weeks. Behind me in the VIX pit with the expiration August is now the front month. August is now trading at fifth, over 15, 15, 20 in the front month on the futures. So people are still betting for a short-term increase in, the, in volatility over the summer months. Even though the VIX below 13, we're in the middle of the dog days of summer, uh, volatility traders are still anticipating something to happen in the short term. For Equity Armor Investments, I'm Joe Tige.